Hi everyone, Jan here. This video is going to be like an emotional thing, okay? So it has emotions in it um, because I'm going to share my experience for the last two months that I have been working in a different field, you know? So I have been working with my uncle and it has been a really tough ride at the same time fun, you know? I'm learning a lot of things and at the same time, I also got feedback. Of course, it's really it's really common when it comes to in the in the business world. It's really common for us to receive feedback because when we when we receive it, we need to adjust accordingly. And I'm a newbie, right? I'm a newbie in this field, and um, it's not it's not something that I'm used to. It's not something that I do, I know, all right. But it's okay because. Um, just like in my previous video, um, no, actually I'm still going to upload it. We need to work to learn, right? We need to work to learn so that eventually our minds is going to expand and it's easier for us to move on and move forward and think strategically and to improve in life. So why is this video emotional? It's because for the first two months that I have been working, I think I cried around three times. I think three times or four times um, yes I'm a guy and I also have feelings you know so yes I cried why it's not because it's not because like the culture is bad it's not because um, it's not because you know like someone punched me in the face or said bad things about me it's really because I was really failing, you know, failing a lot. Mm. Um, how so? I failed in a sense that I'm, I'm, I should be managing and understanding the business, the operational side of the business. And since I am new, I don't really know what to do. And that is an expectation that I need to I need to meet, you know, I need to know things, right? And I shouldn't be spoon fed. Um, so, so that means I need to think for myself and find ways to improve and add value to the company that I'm working with and for, right? Um, there were, you know, my boss. He, get, he asked me a lot of questions that I wasn't able to answer. Therefore, I was given feedback because I should know the answer because as part of the manager's and the leader's role is to know what's happening to the business and I wasn't really performing. I wasn't performing really because the, the, the challenge that I had and even up to now, but it's better now compared to when I started is that I don't know what to know, all right? I don't know what to know. And I'm just really blessed that even though I cried, I still moved on. And then every time I received that feedback or I received feedback, I immediately apply and find ways to not let that happen again, right? Because I know the feeling, it hurts, it stings, it's painful. So. I don't want to experience that again. So the best way to move on is to find ways to not let it happen again. And now I have set up systems in the company so that even if I'm not there or even if I'm there, whether I'm present or not, I still know what's happening. There are some terminologies that I didn't know, but now I know, but I know that I still need to um, experience more, right? And who was the person or who's the person who witnessed my you know crying it wasn't my boss it wasn't my colleagues because I I concealed the feeling just like in frozen conceal don't feel <laughs> uh, it was Addy no one knew about it but if you're watching this video you knew about it uh, it was Addy like it, it was not a cry like like a tear right it was really a cry that's pain um, you know like it's something that I can't I wasn't able to control so she was there to 
to comfort me to let me know that it's you know it's 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 part of the challenge and it's part of the experience and she also gave me words of encouragement she hugged me um, she texted me also after talking to her and then basically she's there you know and that's the reason why that's one of the reasons why you know I really love and I really value the relationship that I have with her so guys um, I'm going to ask her to comment you know maybe she also wants to share what happened you know I'm also I'm also going to ask her to comment um, so I think the lesson is that when times get tough the easy way out is to quit yes I thought of quitting because I was doing really really well not really really well I was doing okay and well in my previous run you know I know things right but in this current stage I don't know and so countless times it popped up in my mind or it came into my mind to quit but I know that it is not the right way to do it because if I do that it's not going to help me and it's not going it's going to be a habit like if times get tough I'm going to quit it's not it's not a good it's not a good habit to create or to build so I move on and I'm um, still struggling right now of course everybody's struggling we we need to find ways to improve ourselves better and yeah um, so guys if you are struggling find ways to find let us find ways to you know stand up and walk again and then move okay so yeah um, I think you know it's good that I'm sharing this it's because you know it's real it's real so yes um, if you know someone who is struggling as well you can share this video at least that's that person knows that he or she is not alone if you're the one who's experiencing this comment your your experience and what you are going through right now and then also like this video if you want to like this video and lastly is um, subscribe you know so that you know you are updated as to what's happening so yeah uh, that's emotional you know um, recalling it is is an amazing thing and I learned a lot from that just like just like what successful people say you learn more when you are failing than you are um, then you're winning you know we learn more when we are failing so yeah um, good lesson let's move on this is Jan logging out